The elephant in the room is Marty Pellwell. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a couple of years ago, I was at the Edinburgh gig at the castle. Yeah. What a fantastic night that was. It was, was a highlight of a career, yeah. And then two days after the Edinburgh gig, mm. we were over the moon with it. It was stunning. It was brilliant. It was such a great night. The news breaks and Marty Pello has left wet, wet, wet. I was shocked and absolutely stunned because I knew the plans behind the scenes. I knew you were yeah. you're all planning to do. I texted you and you were in Portugal at the time. Yeah, I was in holiday. And, you, you did, and I can understand why you didn't want to speak to me because I think it was a shock to you as much as it was to me as a fan. It's because the reason I never responded straight away is because I didn't even know the story. Um, it came out the way really? to me. You had no inkling? No, I think we had we, 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 the tour all planned out. We were just about to, you know, kind of go, right, we'll go for a holiday and we'll all recap convene and we'll get some new stuff recorded and we'll get back out on the road this is going to be a, a fantastic it was a 30th anniversary yeah, as well yeah totally so there was all these big plans put in place everyone knew what was coming up it was discussed and our manager had done six months to a year's work to put it all together mm-hmm and then, as I say in holiday, this announcement came out that for the first year of future I will be concentrating and wait, wait, the greatest band ever and, I, and off I go so um we spent a long time trying to contact him, trying to make sure, you know, text, phone and calls, all that yeah. sort of stuff. We never really got a response. Can I ask you Can I ask you a really personal question here? Yellow underpants. <laughs> <laughs> That's my least favourite. That's why I said that. Are you on talking terms with Marty just now or is that still to happen? Texting. Texting. We're, we're kinda, you know, if there's some big news happening, because there's real life going on behind mm-hmm. the scenes, you know, and we, so if something major happens, there will be a text, a communication that mm-hmm. way. So you haven't seen him since the Edinburgh gig? I have, actually, yeah. You yeah, have seen yeah. him? The bizarre thing was uh, last, uh, late, late, it was, it was a great summer last year, wasn't it? Yeah. So late on in the summer, Elaine and I are sitting on a lovely day and I went, Mum will go down to Helmsborough and we'll get a wee ice cream and we'll sit in the sun. And I'm walking through Helmsborough, the sun shining, shorts on, T-shirt. I say it's lovely. And Marty comes driving along through Helmsborough. Uh, and he, he doesn't stay up here, you know. And so obviously I jump out now and I f- wave him down. And he comes out and he's looking at the ground and doesn't know. I mean, give us a cuddle. So I just give him a wee cuddle and say, don't worry about it. I want you to be happy. Are you hurt? On a personal level, why didn't he phone me or tell me three months before? Yeah. Listen, yeah. To, listen, there's something niggling away at me and it's really winding me up. And now you've got a new front man. And the new front man, I know the I know Kevin Sim. I've worked with Kevin Sim. Yeah. Stunning vocalist. What a vocalist. What a vocalist. And a lovely guy as well. We gave him some big, big challenges. Initially come up and meet us. It was just a rehearsal room in Glasgow. Come up and walk into the room and we're playing these iconic songs now. Don't even feel as if they belong to us. They feel just belong to the world. You know, yeah. the good night girls and the lovers all around. Yeah. And he nailed it. And his voice suits us. There's something about our music that, that Kevin's voice kind of suits. You know, he's not trying to be... Cut. He's not trying to be Marty. He certainly is not. The question I know that people will be asking mm-hmm. to the radio right now, any chance that Marty will ever come back to the band? Or do you think it's gone? I think it's gone. I do you actually I, think it's gone? I do. Um, he wants to live in a world of Tharta. Tharta, <laughs> you know, he wants to, you know... Um, Cravats on and all that stuff, and he loves it. I'm going to ask you another very personal question. <laughs> Has Marty forgotten where he's come from? No, 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 but no. But you know, no. I'm getting at is, is he forgotten what made him the success that he was and the friends that he's leaving behind? It's just um, he is in a different mindset, a different place. That's all it is. It's right. just to do. And with... you don't think he'll ever come back? You think he'll never knock on your door and go, "Let's do this one more time"? No, I, I don't think that'll ever happen. Um, oh, that's quite sad. It's 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 horrible, isn't it? It's quite sad, actually, to think that you guys will not do this at least one more time. I don't control them. I, I don't make decisions for them. You but know, is that not sad to you? Sad. It's horrible and sad. Um, as I said, there was there was definitely a hurt at the, at the time. Oh, I don't like. I thought you were going to say, yeah, you never know. But if you actually genuinely believe that this won't happen again, I just can't see anything with it. There's a way forward because they he really put all his eggs into one basket, yeah. made a decision. And we respect that decision. He could not commit. And that was part of the statement. I cannot commit 100% yeah. to wait, wait, wait. And we went, do you know, our reply to that, our statement back officially was, we 100% agree, you can't. We used to be doing rehearsals and we'd rehearse for a week and he would turn up the day before because yeah. he was coming out of theatre. Yeah. And you're like, we're doing, a, we're doing a huge arena tour here and you're rehearsing for, what, four hours before we do it. So you put out your professional mm-hmm. statement, what's the real statement? <laughs> Uh, it's still real statement, the truth. Uh, he's still my mate. Still your mate. Still. And you're still giving him a cuddle in a street in Helensburgh. Every time. <laughs>